Hello, I'm Citrus, and you're looking at the real grade, Tall Geese U from Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Endless Waltz Oz Ooms. I'm just kidding, I know this is Tall Geese Endless Waltz, but really, if Bandai didn't want you to pronounce it like that, they should have put their periods between their initialisms. Alright, so I didn't really plan on picking this up, but my local grocery store just got a bunch of these in, and they were on special for $25.88, which is a pretty good price, considering that the retail for this is 2,500 yen. And this isn't exactly the freshest thing on the block anymore, since it's been out for a little while. But uh, I figure a lot of you guys probably are Gundam Wing fans, so let's take a look at this. By the way, I also received these it pliers today. Shout out to Mark, a uh, huge fan. Actually, no, these came from Wilson. He owns a company called Vaultcan, and they make a pair of Gundam nippers that um, allegedly rival the quality of God hands. And it comes in this really, really nice case. And when you pull them out, oh, wow. Yeah, so it has the little uh, protector on the top, just like you would get with God hands. You can see the Vaultcan logo right there. Yeah, definitely pretty high quality. Right, and I'm touching the back of the cutting edge here and it feels pretty smooth. So it should make for a really clean cut. Hopefully these will help me speed up my builds because in the past, uh, denubbing and cleaning up all my parts was definitely one of the most time consuming parts of my process. And he sent me a second one. So after I try these out, if they're any good, I will probably host a little giveaway for you guys and I'll let you know all about that. These are available on Amazon for $30 with free shipping, or you can buy them from Vaultcan's website directly for $25 where shipping is extra, but I believe uh, shipping is free if you spend over $50. And they make a bunch of other very interesting metal objects, mostly a lot of like outdoor gear and camping stuff like thermoses, pots and pans, and uh, utility utensils and stuff like that. So yeah, looking forward to trying these out. Before we get onto the runners, I'd just like to show you that the under tray half of the box is advertising the old HG fighting action endless waltz kits. And I think that's kind of funny because building a real grade, which is basically the most advanced thing you can build in 1144 scale, and then going down to one of these, which are, I mean, they're not the worst things ever, but they're not amazing, uh, seems like a pretty big step down. Okay, so starting with the advanced MS joints, there's not a lot of it here. As far as I can tell, there's just the bits for the feet, uh, maybe, in, I think that's the arm, and whatever this is, which probably goes in the knees, I think, to do some pissany action. It's quite interesting. There's so little of it here, like, it's, it's almost nothing, but you know what? I'm sure that they will be used pretty well in the actual kit. It's been something like five or six years since I built my last real grade, and I've kind of forgotten what they're like. You can see here, there's uh, two shades, no, three shades of white, actually. There's a very, very subtle difference between these two, and a little bit more between these. And that's really good. I really like it when they do the, um, the different shades, but it's super low contrast, so the look is really subtle. When the contrast gets too much, it starts looking really patchy because the kits are so small. Um, yeah, and it's not like I dislike building real grades or anything. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, they, they do take up a lot of time because all the pieces are super tiny. And I guess I'm terrified of breaking things on them, um, especially because... The first real grade that I built was the RX-78, which was eight years old now, and at the time, uh, Bandai hadn't quite figured out how to make the advanced MS joints super sturdy. So a lot of people, when they were trying to break in the joints on them, would break them. And that was always a horrifying ordeal anytime you built any of them. Right, so we're on to these clear parts, which is pretty interesting. So we have, I think, what are pieces for the head, and maybe light piping that that it? I don't know what that is. But you have clear beam sabers, and of course you get pink beam sabers. So when I was first opening this up, I only saw the clear ones, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is a real grade, and they're making us paint the beam sabers, but no, it's they give you both options. 
So that's pretty cool. I guess it's kind of like how on the Sandrock uh, Master Grade they give you the red blades and the silver blades, so you have the option to choose. I'm not exactly sure what this color is supposed to be. Uh, something tells me it's supposed to be orange or something, but I'm probably completely wrong because I have never actually seen any of Gundam Wing. None of the original series, none of the movies, nothing. I know basically nothing about it, mostly because the protagonists kind of look like jerks, so I'm not all about that. But yeah, uh, maybe I'll watch it sometime and I'll change my mind. So this bit here is really interesting because I do know the HG Leo exists, uh, and this looks almost exactly like it. Part separation and everything. And... A few of you guys on the channel will know that I used to be sponsored and I built the Master Grade Tall Geese U. And uh, the way that it does the shield, I believe, is exactly the same as it is here. Pretty similar way for the shoulders as well. I really love that they figured out how to do this um, with the Master Grade because this is a really clever way of putting in really thin strips of color in places that would have probably 10 years ago would have been just stickers. So really cool. And this is just a smaller half of the E plate that we saw earlier. So it looks like this is, hmm, this looks like leg bits. So that would probably be, yeah, that's the calf. That would be the side skirts, I think. And this would be the thighs, maybe? Thrusters are super detailed, by the way. There's a lot of molding going on in there. Looks really nice. Uh, and I know that they probably don't do the double color thrusters on real grays very often because it makes them look super thick and that takes away from the realism of it. And I'm, I think I'll probably paint the insides of these, but I'm not sure what color I would do yet. I really want to do yellow because there's so much yellow on the kit and it just seems like a good accent to go along. And we have another plate of the exact same thing, roughly. Well, on this half of it anyway. And there's the inside of the shield. Looks really good. Let's see the waist hips and I think that's the chest yeah so I know normally they would do like the immense MS joint for most of the inner body to give it a lot of flexibility and stuff and they're not doing that here of course so I wonder um, how that'll hold up if it'll be more or less durable or flexible because of it and I like that the second accent color for the frame is actually this uh, really dark blue color more interesting than just having a dark gray see the rifle here which is supposed to have like the really cool kickback mechanism uh, but there's no spring in this one so i'm not sure how that'll work really nice open hands i always love these on real grades and some big shoulder joints it looks like lastly we have some stickers same usual uh real grade stuff shiny metallic stickers and a bunch of tiny labels and since this is the North American release of this kit, which I don't typically buy, it comes with a handy-dandy translation for the assembly. But um, as you guys know, recently Bandai started putting on uh, putting a lot of English in their manuals. So all of it is pretty much translated for you already. If we look here, you can see the front of the manual already tells you assemble in numerical order, rotate as indicated, select a part to attach, so on and so forth. So this little translation sheet is a little bit redundant, but there's some nice stuff in the manual. A lot of um, story and technical information about the mobile suit. And I won't bore you too much with this because of course you can find scans of the manual anywhere, but it looks like they didn't translate all of it. Hmm, that's a little disappointing. wonder what that says. All right, so this is going to be something really new for me because, you know, haven't built a real grade in forever. And this is clearly a real grade that Bandai has decided to take a little bit of a departure on from the usual formula. So it should be exciting. So I'll be back with the build. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.